Hey basketball coaches, today I'm going to give you a triangle basketball play that could literally be used at grades 7, 8, and above. This isn't all that hard, but it is more difficult than what could be used at the younger youth levels. Let's get down and let's check out the cross-cut triangle basketball play. So first I'm going to show you the play without any defense, and I'm going to show you a couple of different defensive strategies that players or teams can use. So first we're going to have player 1 pass to player 2, but instead of player 1 cutting down, what we're going to do is have instead have player 1 screen out away for player 3, and at the same time player 4 is going to be cutting to that low corner. So we're going to have these players then go in their directions. Player 1 is going to be setting a screen for player 3. And what I want to see player 3 do is to cut to the high post. And I want him to be the first option that we really look at seriously. Once he is through, and let's say he's not open, he's going to pop up. And we are now going to be swinging the ball around. So he's going to be popping up to this side of the key. Player 2 is going to pass to player 3, and what we are going to have is player 1 going into the low post, and this is going to be a double staggered screen for player 4. Player 4 is going to be then popping out, and we're going to have player 3 dribble towards this side and possibly pass player 4 the ball and possibly be able to score. This works extremely well both against zone and man defenses. Once player 3 sets that screen or I mean passes that ball, what we are going to have is player 2 moving up, player 5 moving out, and now player 3 is going to be doing the exact same on the opposite side, and player 2 is going to be going down into that low corner. Of course, when we're using these high cuts and things like that, we obviously want to be looking at those players as possible options to score. But player 3 is setting that screen away. Player 5 is going towards that high post. Again, if he's open, definitely hit him up because he could also pass down the player 1 for a layup as well. So keep that in mind. And then player 5 is going to be popping up to this side of the key. Now we can keep on swinging that ball back around, but we should have been able to score by this point. So let's say we have player 1 now with a man-to-man -man defense. Again, same thing, passes over to player 3, sets that screen away. And now we're going to have player 2 cut down towards this low corner. Even player 5 could take a step out instead of screen for player 2 as well. If you wanted to add that onto your play, you could. And again, player 2 could be another option to be open. Now, from here, player 4 is going to be cutting across and may be open for a shot. That is obviously an option. And then player 4 is going to be popping up. Player 1 is going to be going down. And we're going to swing that ball to player 4. When we do that, we're going to have player 2 using both 5 and 1 as a screen and popping up. Having player 4 looking at player 2, possibly getting that open shot. If that's the case, then we're all set. Player 3 is going to be moving up. Player 5 is going to be moving up. And now, what we are going to have is after player 4 makes that pass, remember, he goes and screens away. Player 3 cuts across. Again, possible screen for a shot. There's always that option. And then, we're going to have player 5 cut across and up. Possibly a shot here, possibly a shot here, a couple of different options there at least, and then player 4 is going to then pop out. Or he could stay in the low post as well. Now against a 2-3 zone, most likely the zone is going to look like this, and what we are going to have is player 1 passing over to player 4, and we're going to be setting that screen away. Now, however, what I would like to see is to have player 1 set a screen for player 2, because now what's going to happen is player 2 is going to cut across and player 3 is going to be going towards the high post. Meanwhile, player 1 is going to be going over. This is a double team location for player 4. Of course, the zones are like this. Anytime there's that overlap area, there's going to be a double team. That's what we're going to have here until player 2 shows up there. In which case, we're going to have player 3 who should be wide open for that shot. Unless player 5 pops up, in which case... We are then going to have player 3 able to pass 
down to player 5 for a shot, and if that's the case, sometimes you may just have player 3 move over just to say, oh no, we can't let them score on the low post, in which case then player 1 is open. I hope that this play helps your team win more games. If it does, hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time.